right? There is an outward machine, modified outward rather, and there is a spring over here. I'm just gonna zoom in so that we can see this guy. Okay. Uh, now block A is initially held at rest on a horizontal table and is connected to a horizontal spring that is fixed to a wall. The spring is initially in its relaxed length. Block A is connected to block B by a spring passing over the pulley. Da, 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 da. There's a friction between A and table. Ooh, interesting. Block A is released. B moves downwards. A moves to the right along the surface of the table until the system returns to rest. How do the mechanical energies of the two block spring system and the two block spring earth system change from when block A is held to rest to when the blocks return to rest? All right. Uh, we understand the question, right? Initially, every all the system, everything was at rest. Initially, the spring was at its relaxed state. Uh, obviously, when we release the B, this, is, this goes down, spring stretches, A goes to the right, and there comes a situation when that again comes to rest. So they are saying that the two block spring system and two block spring earth system. System means how is the energy of these two block and the spring. Uh, however, friction doesn't really have involvement here because when we talk about mechanical energies, notice the word here, mechanical energies of two block spring system, it means that the earth is not involved, right? If the earth is not involved, the only two energies that we need to talk about would be the kinetic energy of the block and the potential energy of the system. Now, if it moves, if, if, if this block is stretched, remember the kinetic energy is not changing because it's from rest to rest. But when it comes to rest again, this spring is stretched. So it gains some potential energy, right? So this energy of this system increases, definitely increases. And when we talk about two block spring earth system, uh, this we have to see whether that increases or decreases. Now, uh, obviously, kinetic energy is not changing, so we, we, should, we should not be worried about this. Potential energy is increasing, and Earth, as in gravity, that's decreasing, right? Because if we take this as a reference point, uh, right now B is here, and when it stops finally, B will be somewhere over here, which is somewhere, uh, which is negative, right, below the reference, so that's negative. So, gravitational potential energy is decreasing. Now, although we know that our answer has to be option A because it is the only one having increasing in nature, but we can still prove that the, this energy decreases. We know that the overall energy of the system is conserved, right? So as per the conservation of energy, work done by a non-conservative force plus in, initial mechanical energy should be equal to the final mechanical energy. And this is the total mechanical energy of the system because that's going to take gravitational potential, spring potential and gravitational potential. So finally, we can, and what is the work done by a non-conservative force? That's friction, right? Friction is acting to the right. Displacement, friction is acting on the left. Displacement is to the right. There is a 180 degree angle. So it has to be a negative work because work has a formula of Fd cos theta theta is 180 degree. So if we put 180 cos 180, it is minus one, so it will be minus Fd. Another way to think about this is friction always dissipates heat, so that has to be negative. So this is a negative number, which means that final minus initial, if we bring, if we subtract any final both the sides, is worked on by a non-conservative force. And since this value is negative, it means that obviously ME, ME, ME final must be less and this should be a greater number because greater mi less minus greater will only give a negative number, right? It's, like, it's something like minus 2 plus 5 is equal to 3. So obviously this is a smaller number final and that's what we are saying, it decreases. So it has to be option A. Uh, just to make it clear, when we talk about system and when they do not include Earth in the system, we do not include gravitational potential energy. And when they include Earth in the system, we include the gravitational potential energy. So that's how overall we solve this question.